hi everybody it's Anne here from positivelypapercraft.co.uk and welcome to project number two of my six by six paper week um, what I want to show you to make today is this really sweet little envelope and if you're into um, pocket letters and stuff they fit perfectly into a pocket letter so you can make them with with or without the little closure I think if you're making them for uh, pocket letters it's probably best to make it without them but um, obviously you can make them for anything you want so I'm going to show you how to make it um, now I'm going to use a bit of this which is from the tropical chic um, paper so get our trimmer okay now what you want to do is you want to cut um, your paper down to five and a half inches by five inches okay so <clears throat> on the five and a half inch side, the long side, you want to score at two and a half inches and then you want to score again at five inches. Okay and then turn it to <clears throat> the uh, short side, the five inch side and you want to score it at well I'm going to turn it round because you want to score and um, this is going to be the top so you want to score at one inch so that's going to be the top okay and then you want to score at <clears throat> four and a half inches All right, so you'll end up with that. And then we will just fold and burnish. Okay. So what you want to remember is the um, thick score line, the one inch is going to be the top and the small half inch is going to be the bottom, okay? And it's going to fold together <clears throat> like this, okay? So what we need to do is the side that hasn't got this side section, we want to cut this away, but I'm just going to mite it in a little bit and I'm going to cut above the score line so I'm actually cutting above the score line okay and then we also want to remove the uh, one inch score line remove that as well and again I'm just going to mite it in there <clears throat> so you will end up with that all right and then we need to remove this bottom square here okay and then just mite it in there a little bit so you've got that kind of shape also remove this top rectangle again I'm just going to mite it in there as well <clears throat> so you will end up with that so we will put glue down there okay and the reason I'm saying remove the score line is because when you fold it you don't want to you don't want bits getting in the way and then that will be your flap to close it okay so I'm just going to trim this because it's sticking over a little bit so we want some glue and um, down here <coughs> or tape you can use whatever you want 
just going to use a bit of glue and then just close that over and then you want some glue along the bottom and there you go <clears throat> you have your lovely little envelope and like I said they fit perfectly into pocket letters and I think for pocket letters they're really good because you know the person only has to just pull one envelope out they haven't got bits flying all over the place you can just put all your little goodies or whatever you're putting in there so and then if you don't want to make it for a pocket letter or even if you do you can go ahead and make the little things so what I'll, I'll make them just in case you want to do them um, I've just got two little brads I've got a scrap of mint macaron so I've got a one eighth of an inch um, handheld punch and I'm just going to punch just two little holes just randomly and then with the half inch circle I'm just going to cut around that little hole all right so it gives you that and then <clears throat> I'll probably mm, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it because I should have done it before I stuck it together but then all you would do is just poke a hole in and put your little brad through and the same but do it before you stick it together poke a hole put your brad through and then you can tie some twine on and you've got a little closure that way if you want to keep your envelope closed and then you can just decorate the front however you want it so Obviously, if it's a pocket letter you're doing, you'll have nine to make. So this is a great way to use up um, six by six pads. So I will be back again tomorrow with project number three of the six by six week. So <clears throat> thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.